Welcome to another tutorial video in the FX Factory podcast series. Noise Industries offers a number of great free plugins for FX Factory. Pan and Zoom 2 is a very powerful generator that lets you create photo animations in the style made popular by Ken Burns in his documentaries. I'm in Final Cut Pro, but Pan and Zoom also works in Final Cut Express, Motion, and After Effects. First off, Pan and Zoom is a generator located in Generator's FX Factory freebies. There are two to choose from, Accelerated and Basic. Choose Basic if you have an older machine or a slower graphics card, or if you want to use this effect on a very high resolution image. Pan and Zoom does what it says. It allows you to do realistic pans and zooms on still photos without having to keyframe the animations. The generator starts up in setup mode with a default picture loaded. As I play forward, the setup mode shows me a preview of the animation with a virtual camera. I'll go ahead and load up a picture by clicking the choose button under image path. I'd like to do a slow zoom toward the subjects of this photo, so I'll choose the preset Zoom In. If I scrub through the clip, you can see by the virtual camera that my initial zoom point is outside the frame of the picture, so I'll tweak the settings. The zoom goes from point 1 to point 2, so I'll decrease the size setting of point 1 to be within the frame of my photo. Also, I'll change the size and position slightly of point 2, the final resting place of the zoom. I should point out here that if I wanted to keyframe, I could by changing the animation style to manual, but why do the work if you don't have to? Next, I'll change the animation time to duration in seconds and the duration to 4 seconds, so I can hold on my last frame for 2 seconds. I'll leave the animation curve setting to quadratic in out which keeps the animation as a nice ease in, ease out, which is more characteristic of a real camera zoom. Graphs of all the available animation curves are just a click away in the online help. The motion blur setting is new to this version of pan and zoom. This will allow for some added realism. It will add some rendering time, of course. I'll go uncheck the setup mode box so we can see our animation. Pan and zoom helped us create a very nice natural zoom and camera reposition with no fuss and, best of all, no keyframing. Here is a version with motion blur turned off, so you can see how this feature really adds to the realism of the effect. Here are some further examples of great looking pans, zooms, and rotations, all done with the Pan and Zoom 2 generator and no keyframing. A nice bonus is that Pan and Zoom 2 includes a transition as well. You'll find it in Effects, Transitions, FX Factory Freebies. Just drag it onto a cut and try out some of the great presets. Remember that Pan and Zoom 2 is a freebie and available for download today. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.